50 years ago this month, singer-songwriter Jimi Hendrix played two sold-out shows at Clark University in Worcester. This week, the Hendrix Estate is releasing a studio album by the artist. As our Brittany Schaefer explains, Hendrix has had an influence for generations on music fans. The most important, influential, and accomplished electric guitarist of the 20th century and perhaps of the 21st as well. Guitar legend Jimi Hendrix died almost 50 years ago, but his music is still being released. This Friday Experience Hendrix is releasing a 12 song studio album. The album this Friday, it's called Both Sides of the Sky. Um, Experience Hendrix is releasing this as the final studio album. Listeners should expect from this album is a lot of different sorts of things. WPI professor Joel Bratton says the album was during Hendrix's experimental period and has many guest artist appearances. Of the 13 songs on both sides of the sky, I think there are nine different combos, nine different groups. Bratton has written more than 300 published pieces on Hendrix in the past 30 years. He says the musician's work ethic is the reason his albums are still being released today. Because of his astonishing work ethic, uh, he achieved a great deal more than those limited number of albums suggest. In the years since his death in 1970, there have been, without exaggeration, literally hundreds and hundreds of albums. Hendrix played two sold out shows in Worcester 50 years ago next week. Bratton says it boosted the music scene in the city. I think Jimi Hendrix helped put Worcester on the map, don't you think? Now, Bratton received the new album two weeks early. He is reviewing it for an international Hendrix journal. Olivia? Very cool. Thank you, Brittany.